Hello everyone, welcome to Windward. Uh, I just got this game not too long ago and it's been out for quite a while I believe. As you can see copyright 2012 down there. But it's such a fun game I thought I'd give it a shot for YouTube. So we're going to name ourselves Squirts. We're going to be on the YouTube campaign. Let's figure this out. I have it set for really easy. Maybe we'll go just a little harder. We'll do 80. I mean, I think normal's 100. I mean, we could do that. That's so difficult. We'll just do, how about we compromise with 90? That way it's a little easier. I like to be these guys, the blue faction. They are my favorite. Each faction has its own. I wonder what this is. Oh, wow, that's huge. We'll do a small one for now. How about... This looks like a fun map. We could just randomize it, couldn't we? Really, there's no rules. We can just keep going. This one looks kind of neat. It's like an upside-down guy dancing, maybe. So, let's give it a shot. The nice thing about these guys is they have a uh, diving helmet that lets them go and get treasure off of shipwrecks. So, this is it. We're just starting out. We got the town here. First thing we're going to do is just do some quests. Get some real easy experience and money. It's a small town and it tells you right where to go. You can either use the mouse to steer and control it, or you can use the WASD and pick it up. And right away we get something. Looks like it's not really an upgrade though, it's a side grade. It's a little less, a little more damage, but a little less accuracy and whatnot. As you can tell, this game is already just very exciting. But we're just starting out. I'll show you what the uh, diving helmet looks like here. Walk the plank, it's called. So all we do is click that. It uses two stone. We do have um, some supplies here. Gunpowder, or black powder, I should say. Stone, wood, and gold. Gold you use to buy stuff. Stone is used for like what we just did and a couple other things. Black powder is used for certain weapons and abilities. What was the other thing that we had? Oh, gold. No, we already said gold. Wood. That's used for mostly repairs. And you do get bonuses for... Doing things in a certain order. Doing things in... All that, so... We have to go back now? Gotta go to Yenis. Alright, here we go. So they're doing the full tour. Hopefully we'll get a lot of money from this. It does start off a little slow. As you can see, here's our quest on here. And eventually you can upgrade your ship to get more... Uh, faster ships and... More cargo holds, stronger armor, better weapons, and all that. But for now, we're just squirting around. This is obviously the drunk crew just going off that we're... or the sightseers. Look at that, 182 gold. That's pretty good. You can just sell that. New Rin port. Do we have anything for New Rin port? No, let's check out the rumors. So what you can do is you can buy stuff in one town and sell it for another. Although it looks like we want something for this place, but there is none. So we're just going to sail to it. We're going to enjoy the nice tropical weather. What? Here's the map of the thing, of the game it shows you. New challenges get you different rewards. Oh, uh, it's arid. Arid climate. Arid, tropical savanna, monsoon. That's interesting. You do take damage if you hit land. You gotta watch out for land. 
Then as you do quests for towns, they will level up. At Fottenfort. Fottenfort. Um, that turns you... There's different factions you can do. One of them is pirate, where you're basically an enemy of everybody but pirates. It's very dangerous, so we're not going to do that. What were the rumors? Anything for... Nope. So we're just going to do this one quest. Eventually that town will hopefully grow. One of the benefits of having larger towns is you get to buy the upgraded ships. So like some ships will... Whoa. Will have... Uh, oh. Yeah, never mind. We, we did. We're supposed to sell that. I think these boxes do despawn after a while too. With some of the higher end ships, you need higher end towns to buy them in. So that's what we're kind of going for, is just getting... We also get XP, we get talents here, we actually have two already. Um, we're going to do that. Oh, we should have done this, come to think of it. We'll do that next time. It's pretty easy to level up at first, like most things. So now we got to go back there, okay. See, these are the ships that you get to buy, but we don't have enough money for that right now. 15,000 gold. We'll get there eventually. Okay, still nothing for where we're headed, so we'll just keep going. We'll do one at a time. There's no rush. Maybe we'll do another pirate, or another uh, dive into the ocean. We got 32 gold. With those shipwrecks, I don't know if you can kind of see that down there, but every once in a while a crate or a barrel will pop up. And it'll have some random items in it. Sometimes it's gold. Sometimes it's an item. Because you do get items that you can upgrade. Like you get new crews. New types of cannon. Ammunition and all that. Let's take a look. I haven't leveled up yet. There's our XP. So we're at 200 out of 220. So we'll keep leveling that. We did get cloth dye. So we can change the color of our sails. But I just want money right now. So we got to go to Yerlis from here. So let's check out any rumors. Nope, another one and done. And then we're probably going to have to go back somewhere else again once we pick up the cargo. What do we get for that? And each quest you have is like an item in your cargo hold. So, look alive, lads. Because this ship is just a starter ship, you only get to have two, two things for cargo. So two quests at a time, two items at a time to sell back and forth. Now we gotta go back to this port area. New rim port, and there's nothing there. So we'll just do that one next since we... I have the cargo room. I don't even know where this is. Take a look at the map here. Oh, so it won't be out of the way. Let's just this middle one right here. And off we go. It's very relaxing. We can do instances at some point. There's combat, battlegrounds, questing, trading. Let's see if we can actually go over this land like this little arrow says. We'll find out here in a second. Nope. We take some damage when we do. So that will go around. And when you're in town, you do get free repairs. Otherwise, it does cost wood. They want us to smuggle, but I don't want to have to deal with people thinking I'm a pirate. So I'm going to skip that for now. And just go on. And now we're level 3. So I'm going to do this one. Improve our mobility a little bit and there are items that have stats as you can see diplomacy explains what that is damage of course and all that you hit spacebar you'll come to a screeching halt this is a little bit of an upgrade so I'm going to equip them and s get experience for them you sometimes when it's not to start items you get money for it if you want or you can get XP 
Let's go here. Norberg. Are there any rumors for Norberg? No. So, what we could do is go to the next zone, which we might do that. So, we have to go over. So, level 3. We control it 100%. Still arid climate. It's actually a little... That's about the same. Maybe we'll go... See, there's less towns here because it's a little bit lighter blue. This town is battling with pirates. We'll get to that probably pretty soon here. But that will be exciting. So we'll have to go to the other side of the map here. Hemp sails. Uh, we'll do it now because we're not really fighting anybody yet. Oh, and since these are the starters, you just destroy them. Molten and Nash Verford. There's that. And there's... Oh, we'll do those. And then we'll head out to the new zone. Wait, did I say pick up cargo? Oh, deliver. Okay, that's what we'll do. And that's just discover the town. That's no big deal. And see, that's a four... Level four city, because there's four little buildings. That's how you can tell. If you're just sailing by, checking it out. And of course, as you play, stuff will get... Oh! Captured by pirates. Okay, well we gotta go up there. So we get a treat if we do. So we have to go up there anyway. So we'll just drop this off and then... See, we have a friend up there. Who's already helping out. Let's get over there. Of course, we're very far away. Hopefully we'll get there in time, because there are other people who are on our faction. That's what the blue dots mean, is there are other ships who are your friends. If, and of course, if you pick the other faction, it'll be the matching color, but... Um, it's a lot of people over there. They might capture it before we get there. Let's take a look. There we go, that'll help. So this is the kind of the combat tree, this is kind of defensive, this is kind of, as it says down here, the support. Yeah, I think they're going to capture it without me. See if we can get that barrel. Oh, it just made it. You have to be within a certain range. Oh, they're all leaving. They're not going to bother to get it. Have you seen, have you any coffee squirts? So I guess just that one guy's maybe doing it or nobody. Nope, he's just kind of going off on his own. There is no damage if you smash into other ships. There is, however, damage if you smash into land. When a town is under power control, you can't do anything. You can't pick up quests or cargo. But if you have a quest for it, you can complete that quest. As you can see, here's the... You can hear the ships creaking. There goes the countdown timer to when it's back under our control. And now everybody comes to help. They're very thoughtful, aren't they? So we got all those things plus that hull. Which is a good upgrade. You get more armor. Lose a little bit of speed but gain a little bit of mobility. So we're going to do that. Let's equip it. And we'll... I guess just do that for wood. That is not something I want right now. So we're just going to get the experience for that. And then let's check our talents real quick. Not yet. Alright, so this may be a good time to take a break. We'll go over to the next zone here um, next time. So thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And I do hope to see you next time.